Welcome to the podcast with Face, Pat, and Tiz. That's ice on? Rack it up, rack it up, I got a bit of the bank to make me a safe house. Shake it up, shake it up, she got her hands on her knees and she bringing a cake out. Smoke it up, smoke it up, I got some gas, some packs, I'm up in the green. In that same, I can see that same realm of thinking as far as women equal to men. As I was sitting thinking, you know, I'd just be on my random shit, sitting on the porch. I was just sitting there thinking, two real thoughts came to my mind. First one, were all men created equal or were some created to be inferior? Second thought, are we all living gods? You feel me? Like we were taught. God created us, created, created, created us in his image. But as we sit back and think, we all have the power to create and destroy, give life and take life. We all have the power to manifest certain things. So it just makes me want, I mean, just first, let's just go to this all man created equal thing, man. Like what y'all think? Are, are some people just created just to be inferior? Um, I think I think we have to be careful with that conversation because then you then you're gonna have people try to dictate who is superior and who is inferior, which they've been trying to do throughout history. Personally, mm-hmm. I think everybody, I think everybody's created equally, but the outcomes may end up being different, so okay. to speak, or whatever. Like, like we all started off the same way, but how you end up, that's different. Now that ain't equal. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. Because I mean, we all. I mean, pretty much the, that's the same genetic makeup. But if I'm born, the person that's born in a third world country does not just have the same equal opportunities and things that somebody in the first world country would have. So I think that's the only thing that would bring in the. All right, are we? Are you in superior, superior or inferior in that situation? But uh, that might be me trying to be, um, trying to you know just be nice in general, for lack of a better term. Okay, interdicted. Um, um, so with this one, I, I would say I don't think that men, all men or women or any human, was created equal i think all humans were created to serve different purposes mm. on earth and in society mm. so like the way i view like i don't know my answer might go into your second question too so i apologize if that happens uh, it, it meant to but, do uh, it but basically like the way i view like theology and and god and all of that like if you read the bible right if you if you want to take it as literal, right? Okay, cool. I can roll with people that want to go down that road. You take it as literal, even in the Bible, it says that God, he recognizes other gods. He's the most high God. He's not saying that there are no other gods. He's not saying that you're not creating his image. He's just saying that he's above all of the other gods and heavenly hosts. So when you see that, that means it's very possible for us to be gods on earth. I think that he created us to be gods and have dominion over this realm the way he has dominion over the entire universe. Right. So like, um, let's start there. And then when you go into like the way he kind of set up earth, when he look, when you look at the way he was putting together stuff, he was putting together things that went together to each server purpose. Like he had things that flew in the air because he knew that those things would be necessary to help the things that was growing out of the ground. And those would be necessary to help the things that was uh, crawling across the field. Like everything had to work together. So even in the animal world, he made it so like everything is a food web. Everything is interconnected. Everything is kind of dependent on something else for its survival. And that even goes to humans. Like, we are a communicable species we are a species of animal that is very in tune with each other we have high communication skills and when you look at any animal group in the animal realm that is that are supposedly of a quote unquote and i'm gonna say quote unquote you'll see why in a second uh a quote unquote lower status because of their what we would consider animals or beasts 
even in that, when you see those of the, of them that have higher communication skills, they're always rolling in groups and working together and they have hierarchies mm -hmm. and, and not, not necessarily that one is better than the other. It's just that, all right, my role is more vital. So I got to eat more food because I got to be a little bit stronger than y'all because I'm the biggest one. And if some come to attack our, our little group, I got to be the one to fend that thing off. And I can't do that if I'm small as y'all. And then you might have like, you know what I'm saying? Another one that might be the one that uh, eats second. That don't necessarily mean he better. It just mean that like his, his job requires a next amount of energy. So I think a lot of stuff, the problem is the way we look at, we look at people as lower or superior or inferior and all that. Like, it's not really that it's more just we're different. Like if you look throughout the history of the world, men have always served different purpose, depending on how they are made up, depending on what time in the world it was. There was a time when the geniuses of the world had no place because the way the society was set up, everything was based upon physical labor and and war and how much you can plunder pillage take fight break down pick up lift so like those people that were mentally like very in tune but not necessarily physically strong they they ended up serving these subservient positions as like uh the, the, the alchemist or the jester or the whatever right but you look at a time like now where we can got technology to do a lot of the heavy lifting. War isn't as, imp it's not as important for you to be as strong in war anymore because we have drones and all this other shit that can do the war for us. So now you see people like Bill Gates who are running the world as the strong people are manual laborers and entertainers and jesters and shit. You know what I mean? So it's like, I don't think it's no inferior or superior. I think it's all just, our perspective as humans is fucked up because we all have this thing of we want to feel like we the biggest. We can't be settled with just we just different. We have to feel like that different makes us better so that we feel like we can get a bigger piece of the pie. Because when you really break it down to it, that innate instinct to want to have uh, to want to be at the top of the tribe or to be that that per, the the muscle in men, like we want to be the alpha of the pack so we can lead. So we want to be that one, but we've lost the ability to understand that that may not be my role in society. And that's okay. That doesn't mean there's something bad. We put a bad stigma on everything that's different. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was long winded as hell, but yeah. shit, that's what it's supposed to be. Nigga. Shit. But I definitely, definitely, definitely follow along what you're saying. Definitely about how you entwined with the Bible and the equality of men and everybody having their own purpose. Um, but I also fuck with Pat when you say you think that everybody's created equal, but in certain ways. Um, I feel like it's a it's an entanglement of both y'all answers. I feel like no, ain't nobody inferior, but everybody had a role. You feel me? Like I feel like we all put here for a certain thing, we not might not be as great as somebody in another field, but that may not be our target field. You feel me? So, yeah. of course, we not gonna be as great as that. So, when you have scientists who can't dunk a basketball, you got people who can't dunk a basketball can't do the Pythagorean theorem. So, I mean, at the end of the day, they still gonna be equal when you lay out all these stats. Yeah. But each each man plays each each human plays their own significant role based off their greatness. Right. Um, that's what people forget. Like the diversity is key. Like the reason the earth works, the reason the earth is so-called special in the universe, or at least in the known universe, or whatever, is not necessarily because it got life, it's because it's so diverse that life was able to happen, but then it was able to thrive because everything is so diverse. Like if if every living thing was all the strongest, but the dumbest too, then a lot of things would have died out a long time ago. Mm -hmm. But because you have a mixture of things, That's like what? a lot of stuff is able to thrive because each thing is able to use its skill against the other as like a checks and balance almost like 
You got the smart, <laughs> the smart field rodents that are smart enough to say, you know what? Let us have a lot of babies instead of just one or two because them owls gonna catch a couple of them, but they can't catch all of us. You feel me? And then you got <laughs> the the strong ass owl that's like, well, hell. When I eat these things, let me poop this shit right here out right here, fertilize this little thing right here. And then I'm going to cough this out right here and help the scavengers come back and pick through my little pickers. So, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, everything helping everything, man. It, it, that's the that's the way to work. Subconsciously, like everything is big, working as well. Yeah, it's like one big Rube Goldberg machine. Like, without the domino that knocks over and hits the wire, the, the bowling ball never falls from the thing and rolls down the ramp which never hits the milk carton which pours into the you know what I mean like it's, it's like mm -hmm. all that shit dependent so yeah, right shit did you get this idea from a um I saw this video of Barry White saying that that he was a self made god that he yeah man cause um I had to, it was out of it was out of the god thing or my earth thing because me personally when I be talking to people, I be fucking, fucking people brains up when I be talking because they be like, what? But I'm on the pod, so why not? So, of course, I feel like I'm, I'm, a, I'm a guy here on Earth because I, I'm embodied with the same things as my creator. You feel me? The powers he have, mine may not be on the same scale as his, but here on my earthly plane, they are because I, I'm embodied with the same powers to create humans. I've created three humans. Even um, I can destroy humans. We all know people can destroy. Um, not only with man-made machines, but with their own bare hands, you can destroy. Um, we know we can manifest things um, when we really want things, or we really think about some. Some just pops up, or, or some that's happened. We've all had that that instinct or that feeling when we've been talking about something, some or something or somebody, or and then the next minute we know that something or somebody pops up. Like, damn, speak of the devil. We ain't speaking of the devil. We manifest in greatness and we manifest in things. And it just happened that strength we had right there. It was just that that powerful. Now on the earth shit, I feel like we are all many earths because we are all comprised of everything the earth is comprised of. Um, we're 75% water. The earth is 75% water. Um, carbon create carbon based animals, carbon based environment. Me personally, that that conversation takes me on to that out of space shit too because us as humans we're always looking for another earth or another planet like earth to look for other intelligent creatures why are we doing that instead of looking like okay we know we're from this type of planet the other planets around us aren't based like we are so why are we looking for other type of creatures like us on planets that's not based like us we should be looking for those type of individuals based on that type of planet so whatever venus whatever type of shit venus is made of that's the motherfucker you should be looking for you feel me them type people if you come to a carbon-based atmosphere you're gonna find carbon-based creatures in, in in this environment we breathe our, our atmosphere you go to that atmosphere you should be looking for something that does that shit i think it's a reason motherfuckers going to trying to find other earth-like planets because motherfuckers, it's knowledge unbeknownst to us that other people have in other positions. They don't they know shit. They're trying to find the same shit that's been found many millennia ago. So we looking for other type Earth-like planets. What y'all thinking? Mm -hmm. That motherfuckers was here and then they went to the other Earth and left? Is that why y'all looking for that? Because me, just as a science geek and a, and a space nerd, I would want to find out about each individual planet and what <laughs> what goes on there instead of finding my space my time i gotta find another planet like this one i got one like this one let me find out what's going on, on this one and what shit y'all may have there because that's the that's the shit i would consider alien but no mm -mm. it's just me you feel me like different type of shit weirdo I, you unpacked a lot there um yes I'll say I'll start at the beginning, I guess. Um, I, for as far as us being gods, I definitely think it's something to that. Um, just because, again, man, like if you read the Bible, like it, no matter what your religion is, there's nothing that says that you can't be a god. It just says that there are gods. So even if you like me and you're a Christian, it says that God is the most high, which means 
he's above all God, but that don't mean it's not other God. And he created us in his image, which means we would have to be somewhat like him. So that shit lines right the fuck up. Um, on the power of manifesting. I honestly don't believe in that. Um, I think that manifestations are actually like people want something so bad, so they're working harder for it, which makes things that align with that thing start to happen. Like, if you sit on your ass all day on the couch every day, right, and you keep saying, damn, I want to be a music star. Damn, I want to be a music star. And you just keep on chanting and mantra and burning your sage and all that shit, you're going to be a couch potato that wants to be a music star for the rest of your life. But if you're a person that's saying, I want to be a music star, I want to be a music star, and you're getting up and you're going to music classes, or you're going to a studio every day and you're writing down stuff and, and, and working on your craft and practicing instrumentation and taking lessons on how to play a certain play the keys or you're like looking up YouTube videos on how to do this on an MPC and et cetera. Like you're going to become a better musician. You're going to become better at singing. You're going to become that. So as you become better at it, more opportunities for that thing is going to happen. Like to me, my theory on manifestation is like, if, if you chase greatness, all of the things that come with that is going to come. So like the career in that is going to come. The money's going to come. The fame is going to come. The notoriety, like whatever it is, is going to come because not necessarily because you want it that bad, but because you want it that bad and you're working. It's like that faith shit. Like manifestations are faith. That's all it is. And faith without works is dead. It's not just a biblical verse. That's like some real shit. Cause like, if you got faith in something, but you don't actually put work toward that faith, like, if you got faith that you're going to get a job, but you're not preparing your life for having a job, then that shit is dead. Cause that means you're not taking time to brush up your resume. You're not taking time to go on proper interviews. You're not even taking time to make sure your interview skills are up to par with what they're asking in 2022. You're, you're, you're not making sure that in the meantime, you're working on getting together the proper wardrobe to wear on the interview. You're not making sure that, or whatever this job is, that you got the proper skills. So if you do get hired now, you're actually ready to do the damn job. Like, you know what I mean? So like that, I think we are gods in the sense that if we work towards something, that shit will happen. Like Whoa. shit that people thought was impossible, the smartest people or the bravest people or the whatever people worked and worked and worked. And when everybody just quit trying to do that thing, they didn't quit. So they found, so they discovered light bulbs and stop signs and gas masks and goddamn uh, cars and all kinds of cool shit, computers. Like they discovered all this cool shit, but it ain't cause they manifested it because they outworked everybody else. Like they just, the, the, the shit that just separate people who do great shit and what to start this conversation all will be considered inferior people. It ain't really they're inferior is they are not doing something or not working as hard as something else as somebody else. Like when other people was gearing up for war, they won't work. They won't thinking about that. Or when, mm. uh, or when other groups of people were advancing their culture and like thinking of like new ways to do things that would make things more efficient. So they could start focusing on doing some other cool shit. These people weren't. So that's why they got crushed or subservient or whatever. Like a lot of times that's really what it, what, what it starts as like, even if you look at Africa, like a lot of the colonization that the white men from Europe were able to get away with wasn't necessarily because they were superior at all. It was that they went and they was like, oh, that Italian man opened up some roots to China. Let us go over there and get gunpowder. Simple as that. Mm -hmm. And because they got that and they fucked with it more than other people, because they, if you remember, a lot of times they was taking gunpowder and using that shit and trying to make gold and shit. It was doing alchemy experiments and shit. They stumbled upon the fact of what gunpowder could really do and then started using it as, expl as explosives and shit. And next thing you know, they got cannons and other countries are still using uh, tribuchets and goddamn crossbows and catapults. And these niggas coming through with shit that blow the whole fucking wall down in one blow. And these other people are like, oh, that took us all day usually that's really all that happened like 
when you look at history in any in any culture, even up to the day, like it ain't that people are inferior, superior, it's that they're not working as hard. Like even if you look at a homeless person, right? They're not inferior to a person that is a millionaire. The only difference is for whatever reason, whether it be mental, like being mentally incapacitated, whether it being wiped out financially and not being able to recover for whatever reason, whether it be not having the same resources for whatever reason, they were not able to work as hard and continue a as consistently as the other person. So they didn't, they're not at the same place. Like there's literally people that are stuck and will always be at the lowest level of a job. They will always be the cashier. Not even necessarily because they're bad people or they're inferior. It's just because they don't either want to work as hard or they are not working as hard or they can't work as hard or whatever the case is, but they can't do the they're same. Not, I don't they're want not, ever sounds good. Mm -mm. They're not doing the same thing that the CSM or the store manager or the regional manager or whatever is doing. So like when you look at stuff in those contexts, that's really all life is. The animal that is the weakest is usually the one that as a child was either sick so they couldn't work as hard. So they couldn't get as strong. Or they, for some reason, they wanted to hang out with the mama and chase after her instead of going to wrestle with the with the brothers and sisters. So by the time they got adult, the instincts and the skills that these other ones that had continually worked at this thing every day had got, this one ain't got. So then what happens? You get in the class with another pack, your ass get eaten. Survival of the fittest is a thing, man. Like, that's a real thing, and that's all that it is. Mm -hmm. it, ain't, it ain't inferior or superior. It's just, are you outworking somebody else to be fit? Literally. Like, think about what the word fit means. It don't mean that you're better than somebody. It means that you are actually in shape. If you are in your best shape in any way, whether that be academically, um, financial literacy, whether that be uh, physical fitness, whether that be mental uh, acuity, like whatever your fitness is, like if you are fit in, in that way, you're going to reap benefits and be up. If you don't, you're going to be down. Not inferior, superior, just different in work at it. Mm -hmm. all. Like in my job, I literally went in my interview and was like, I never want to be in management. I want to always be exactly what I'm doing now. That that's the role that I want. I don't mind you paying me more for it over time as I, you know, gain more skills and as I, you know, continue to gain more experience every year, but I don't want to do nothing else. So because of that, I'm not. I never want to be. And upper management. No. No. So, you know, like, I, I, I think that what do you want to, how much do you want to work? Are you willing to work somebody else or something? And that's it. Rack it up, rack it up. I got a bit of the bank to make me a safe house. Shake it up, shake it up. She got her hands on her knees and she bringing the cake out. Smoke it up, smoke it up. I got some gas, some packs. I'm up in the greenhouse. Ball it up, ball it up. I'm with the game. Shots off the rebound, fucking my post to say now. I've been humble too long, yeah. Tell them all to stay calm, yeah. Tell them all to move on, yeah. Fucking my post to say now. They be lost in the sauce, yeah. Took a loss, that's your loss, yeah. Had to get my point across, yeah. Heard them lanes are talking now, and we don't pay that no mind. Didn't need to watch them know that I'll be here in no time. Put a candle on it, had to tell them they could blow mine. Lights, camera, action, hey, hey, hey. Smoking that dope from Edmund. We the new method.